So, good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, time to tie uh, yet another fishing fly. Uh, today is going to be the Pad and Hackley from the core collection. It's on page, let me see, 744. 744. It's going to be interesting. Uh, it's a humongous amount of body hackle, so I, I think I need to tie the body step by step and just move, move moving forward. So let's zoom in. I'm going to see when we get focus. Maybe that's efficient. It's I'm tying on a one o today, yeah, so a bit smaller. So let's start. Oval silver tinsel, as always. I just gonna wax the thread before I do anything. Hope you had a great day at work or whatever you're doing. So. I'm just tying it in. I tie the whole lot in actually. Doesn't matter really. I want it to be strong. There we go. Hello Rob, how are you? Oh, the Nelly Blee, Blee one. That's a great one. It turned out all right, I must say. I'm impressed. Uh, <laughs> since, since I really, really don't like tying with parrot because I always had a struggle with it. So when it just uh, magically appeared perfect, uh, yeah, I was in shock. <laughs> So, so I'm just tying in the tinsel a bit. I'm having a bad day with tinsel, it looks like. There we go. So I'm just gonna cut that one off. And then going backwards again. So down here uh, for, for the rest of the tag, we're gonna have yellow wool. Just reading up here, one second. Oh, sweet. I've been doing some uh, tropical fishing. Uh, I've been in uh, Venezuela, Los Roches, been in uh, Honduras, Roatan, Belize, uh, Cuba. But now I'm going up north, trying to stay at home. Kidney stone, that, that, oh my God, that's bad. But I never caught a, a snook uh, so far. I'm just going backwards because it's wool and it's quite easy just to, you know, build up. It's going to have a hint more. There we go. And on this pattern, I'm going to have a tail, quite straight tail, you know, nothing fancy. So, so I'm just going to tie it in. And then on top of that, we add uh, uh, blue and red Macau, 
We're gonna have tip it in strands. Let's see. I need to build up a bit here first, of course. Otherwise, it's just gonna point up to the sky. I don't want that. So bear with me. Just a little bit here. There we go. I don't need too much. Now I want this to be quite straight. And I just tie everything in here as well. Let's see if I can bring it down. Not really. Maybe with the, all the materials uh, going on. So I'm just gonna put those together. And then we see how things develop. That looks better. So the pattern states everything like equal long. And same here, I just tie in everything. So that's a fishy one. Then going back. Oh, well, silver tinsel, wish I uh, had it here. There we are. So I tie in quite a large piece. You're securing it. And then immediately we're gonna add a body heckle. It's gonna be let me see, purple, I think. Just reading the pattern. Purple, yes. So I'm going to add that one. And it's going to be two, three turns of each and uh, hackle. So that means that the body, I have to tie the body in sections. Just going back just to secure a few threads, turn on with the threads. Um, the body is gonna be pico curl. So I'm gonna wind a few turns by using uh, two strands peacock. that's sufficient then I just secure that one then we're gonna take the hackle we're gonna go let me see that way one oh, that way one turn 
two terms and three terms. And I'm going to secure that. Tie in the next hacking. There we go. So yeah, it's going to push everything backwards. And then just have a quick look. Golden olive. We're going to go with that one. And then I'm gonna tie it in. So I secure that hackle. And then a few turns with the peacock curl. Now it's starting to become short. So I'm gonna be careful. Then the hacking. I go with three turns as well. And then tie it in. This one I think is gonna be really fishy this pattern so there we go more hard the same here I go with two strands it builds better But before tying that one in, I'm going to look at the fairy brown is the next color. So going back again with the thread and then attach the pico curl. I think I was going to take two strands in between two, two new ones instead of using them the whole way. Tying that one in. And then we have after that royal blue. Actually, I'm going to have slightly 
lighter blue. I don't have a royal blue neck. So that's that is something I need to get. Fibers might be a bit long. So I'm just trimming them a bit. This is Ch Chinese neck anyhow, I think, so doesn't matter. Just getting a few fibers away. I'm back with the thread again, adding some more. Uh, Pico curl, two strands, hi David, hi Fixion, how are you guys, sorry I was in the tying <laughs> uh, concentration there, so I didn't see you guys joining, sorry. Just adding the hurl. So, getting the blue out of the way. There we go. Securing that one. And same here, I'm gonna go with new hurls. So, I cut this one off. Makes it easier. So there we go. So there's a lot of hurl on this one. Oh, the uh, different cocky uh, hackers, sorry, not hurl. Just reading the chat in case I miss anything. So now we're gonna have a crimson and then we have amber. So two new hurls. Yeah, this is a good way of uh, getting rid of uh, the dry hurls, if you got any. There we go. I actually gonna do this one a bit larger. Oof. That was a close one. They just break off, broke off. <clears throat> I 
I did the, the starting section a bit small. I'm going to solve that. So just adding a bit more the section with the peacock and then I add the front tackle. For adding the front tackle, I'm gonna do the silver tinsel. <clears throat> Here we have the front tackle. Uh, looking at the pattern, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven turns of tinsel. And with all this hackle, you have to, uh, you know, make sure you don't press down on. on everything so go with your dubbing needle just move the hackle out of the way few Fibers will be caught anyhow, but make sure you don't press down on everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So somewhere here. Then we have the front tackle. <clears throat> Just gonna wax the thread first. I'm gonna take the black wax. There we go. Just folding the fibers backwards. We're gonna use it all, the whole feather. And then you're securing the stem there. There we go.
now it looks like a decent decent body of the fly i like the the different uh, color section so we go with the wing and looking at looking at the pad and on on um uh, uh, the cork uh, collection it seems like they they actually added a big slab of uh, peacock wing but it in it states two to three fibers each so i think i'm gonna have a little bit more on the peacock i'm gonna have like four or five fibers and because i want uh, this normal color to um, overtake and all the colored section should just melt in so to say if you understand me maybe not the easiest all the times <laughs> so we're gonna i think i'm gonna start with that one Nah, I need need more material. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump in between. Because of course we need to have a lovely golden pheasant tail as well. And same there, I take a larger section. we go so i'm gonna marry the peacock uh, wing feather with the golden pheasant and then i'm gonna marry all the colored feathers together and put them on the inside of this and then brush it out a bit Because I want to have a mixed wing. It doesn't really marry. I'm not surprised. Sort of. Um, didn't marry at all. No, it's okay. So I be, will be uh, building a pile for each side. Then the colored section we have yellow, we have red and light blue. I'm using swan, but of course you can use ghost or whatever. And I'm going with two fibers, each color, because I want it to be just a hint of color in the wing. we go red this is really intense red i colored it myself actually i'm happy about it Only two fibers, come on. 
Thank you. And then we have light blue. So now all the colored sections are ready to be tied in. And I'm gonna do a, a, a bunch of everything and then brush it. So there we are. A nice one. We're gonna have a bit more uh, material in this one. We're gonna have some turkey. The same here. I take a bit more of these normal color materials. Same on the other side. Then it's time to include mallard. So the muller is really going to dictate the length of uh, the wing. So there we are. Now I have all the materials in a bunch. With all the light ones or colored ones in the middle. And now it's not that colorful, but you, you see the color, it shine through. But still the wing is transparent and, you know, not too long. It could be a bit longer actually. So maybe I'm gonna reset it a bit further. I'm not sure the mallard is long enough, else I have to get some new mallard. So let's give it a try. Okay. 
And if the mallard goes away, I can still attach it to the sides. Mallard still there, perfect. Now the length is better. I'm losing a few strands, but that's okay. Oh, I'm losing the whole side of that one, okay. But that was quite, uh, was expected, so let me add that. I need to find some longer mallada. Mm, 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 mm. So let me see. Yeah, one was pretty long and the other one was a bit short, so that's why. So there we go. So now we have a, a wing with quite a lot of material, but still it's a, you can see through it. it, has some transparency in it. And this one is gonna be fishy, really fishy. So I'm just gonna cut the leftovers and then I'm gonna add some horns to it and a bull head, but I would say a hurl head would look nicer. So maybe I change to a hurl head. Yeah, of course I'm gonna change to a hurl head. Just want to get all the material away. I think that's sufficient. Just cleaning up, finding a nice hurl. There we go. And then let's look for some decent length blue macau that one can work and Take a strand from here as well.
just waxing the thread. Her song, they point uh, quite straight up, but uh, yeah, it's going to be wet and then being pushed down anyhow. So, no point of tying it flat in. So, just preparing the hurl then. I'm gonna wax the thread a bit more. Sorry for not making a wool head, but I, I do think her look yeah, looks nicer. I'm really going to make it dense. There we are. So just, in, just cutting this one off. There we go. So that's a fishy fly, eh? Hi, Monty. I just finished the fly, sorry. And I changed to a hurl head instead of, uh, let me see. Can we get some focus here? No? There we are. And this one should be like straight out. Hi, Norm. I'm just done tying for today. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, uh, but the, I really, you know, I, I like the interesting challenge with the, you know, like uh, how many hackles was it? Let me see. Purple, golden olive, fairy brown, royal blue, crimson, and amber. So six uh, different hackles in the body. Um, interesting. So guys, that was another of uh, the cork flies. Uh, I found uh, uh, several more that uh, I would like to tie.
uh, I'm gonna work home uh, tomorrow, so I think maybe I rescheduled the variegated sun uh, fly for tomorrow and do that because this is a bit easy. It uh, goes really quick, even if I didn't prepare all the materials. It, it's a fast one. Um, so that might be the plan for tomorrow. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm looking at the TV and I have the camera there. That's why I look uh, crazy. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. And um, if you got time, I'm gonna uh, do live same time tomorrow. Um, so uh, yeah, over and out. See you guys. Bye.